Hello everybody, this is me, Sam from Proof Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Forge server on a Windows machine. So in our previous tutorial, I showed you how to install the Forge client. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check the link in the description. The first thing you want to go to is files.minecraftforge.net. Download the version you want, recommended or latest, and we want the installed hyphen win. So I've gone and downloaded that, and this file is here. We're going to double click that hit yes and this will load up the mod system installer so in the previous tutorial we did the client now we're going to install the server so we select the next one install server and by default this always selects the, your minecraft directory but as that's not where we want to install the server to we have to change that so we can click these three dots here and we're going to choose the desktop and we'll just create a new folder here and we'll just call it Forge Server. And we're going to click Open and hit OK. So I've just installed it to the desktop for uh, demonstration purposes, but you can install it anywhere in your operating system that you like. So that will then begin to download the necessary libraries um, and the Forge server as well as the Vanilla Minecraft server as well. So once that's downloaded and unpacked, there are some things we need to rectify. So there we go, successfully downloaded the Minecraft server. So we're going to click Forge Server, and now we're going to have, you see these libraries, Forge, Universal, and Minecraft Server. So we're going to right click here, and we're going to click New Text Document, and then we'll name it server.bat, and we will want to change the file name, yes. And I'm going to click edit and here I'm going to write java hyphen jar and then I'm going to copy and paste that jar there and now when I double click this it'll run the command and it will begin starting the server up so when you first run the server it takes a little bit of time because obviously it's generating the worlds and whatnot but you also have to accept the EULA uh, license. So when you first create it, you'll see this eula.txt file. You double click that and you have to set this to true. Obviously, you read in the uh, agreement. Set that to true. Close that, save that, and we'll let's just close the server and restart it. So now, once we start it up again, um, we should be able to create the world. So that will then begin generating. We can see here all the necessary uh, folders that it's created. Let's just allow that access there. Uh, the config, which is the forge config, very similar to the client config. We've got the library, you shouldn't have to much mess with that. Logs, if you have any problem, this is where you should go to first. Uh, mods, this is where we're going to install the mods for the server too. This should be in parallel with your, your client setup. Uh, the world, this is your, your, your world save which Minecraft creates and then you have all these JSON files which are basically little databases which hold you know band players, user cache, ops and whatnot. So let's just see, there you go, preparing spawn error. Whilst that's starting up, let's just load up our Forge client and we'll connect. So this uh, is that created yet? Nope, still going. So this is a local server, I haven't opened my ports so I can only connect to it and those on my network. If you wanted to allow uh, users on the internet to connect to your server then you'll have to open your ports on your router. You can find a tutorial on that, uh, there's many tutorials on how to open your ports. And you'll have to give your, your friends, the people you want to connect, your external IP. So now I'm going to get multiplayer. I'll we'll have to allow access again through my firewall. And I can click direct connect and type in localhost. Join server. There we go, connecting to the server. Logging in. And hopefully see it here in the config. Uh, the config, the log. We can see SamK is logged in. And looking around, we can see that we're connected to the server. And that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam here, Gaming, signing out.